Leather is a symbol of a particular lifestyle. No matter what you are, what your fetish is, is what your kink is, we want you. We welcome you. Let's hear it for all your past winners of International Mr. Leather. It's not just like a white gay male event any longer, and I like that. First time a black man won, they told me, well, that's it, the end of your contest. We are inclusive. Aren't you too old to be running for a title? I, I think I am the only Asian contestant here. Mr. Ottawa, the, the man in the wheelchair, uh, dancer, Mr. Long Beach Leather, the, the straight man that's in this competition. The chair can be classified as a piece of dungeon equipment with an orthopedic back and brakes. <laughs> I represent Long Beach. I also represent the straight community. If you're not a gay, sexy leather man, you're going to have some trouble uh, with my scoring. It is the place where outcasts gather and disport themselves deliciously. Oh my god, that was weird. People choose to have piercings, people choose to have tattoos, and people can choose their own form of sexual gratification. What I like to do is sex where there's something to show for it afterwards. Sex! Sex! Sadomasochism, yes, it is dominance, obedience, and so forth, but it's still 80%, 90% symbolic. When I was looking at the Abu Ghraib images, I was pretty certain that I wasn't looking at anything remotely related to BDSM. Welcome to the 30th International Mr. Leather Contest. Me standing here is a battle won. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. Who of you will stand with me? And the winner is... Chuck Renbos is a fucking genius. He really is. International Mr. Leather's an institution, and it's here to stay.